Hi everyone, my name is Tim from Urensoft, and I'll be demoing the new open source programming language Koala for you. Koala is available for download from GitHub and is possibly the easiest programming language for anyone who would like to start programming but has no idea. The first thing we're going to do today is load an image into memory so we can modify it. I have an image of Venice that I would like to use. So into my Koala editor, I will tell the computer, load the image found in, and click and drag my image into the editor, or I can just type it out in quotes myself. Each command is separated by punctuation, which is very important. Now that I've loaded the image that I want, I will store it in memory with a name like test image. To do this, I type store this as test image. Now that I have my image loaded into memory, I want to perform some sort of change to the image. We can use a very basic grayscale filter to start with. I tell the computer what variable I want to use by referencing it using the with command. With test image, perform the function grayscale on pixels. Pixels being a property of test image, and grayscale being a function. Then I will put this into a new image and then save this. Click to drag again. I'll give it a new file name as well. Now it gets a bit more complicated. We also need to tell Koala what the grayscale function is exactly so that it can perform it on the pixels. To do this, type to find the function function name as colon, followed by the function implementation. f of r is equal to r plus g plus b divided by 3. This is a mathematical way of averaging each of the color values and setting it as the red pixel value. Then we take this new r value and assign it to the green channel and the blue channel as well. This leaves the red, green, and blue values identical, and a grayscale image ensues. Now we are ready to test our program. Press the Run button, and let's see what happens. Koala also provides feedback if things should go wrong in the script. In this case, I have an error on line 6. I accidentally made a reference to a variable that is not mentioned anywhere else. Since the actual variable we stored is test image, I can fix this mistake easily. Pressing run again, a second error occurs. There's another typographical error in my define statement. I have misspelled the word define. With corrections, we are ready to try again. And here we go. Koala tells us it's performing the function grayscale. Since Koala is an interpretive language, meaning the computer must first interpret the English whilst executing the program, it is certainly not the fastest language for processing information, but it just might be the easiest. And success. In only seven lines, we have managed to describe our own filter and apply it to an image and save the image. Excellent. We can turn this function into a new red filter by reducing the value of green and blue channels. To do this, we will simply divide by 3. And there we go. Very nice indeed. But Koala can also do more types of image processing. Perhaps we only want to show bright pixels. We can retrieve them by typing get the pixels which are colon and specifying a qualifier. Since the pixel's value is between 0 and 256, we will specify greater than 127 and less than 256. 
Then, as before, put this into a new image and save. Okay, let's run it. And here is our new image. Here is our red and here is our original. Just as easily we can select only the darker pixels by changing the range from 0 to 127. Looks cool, huh? And just like that, you've done image processing in Koala in English. My name is Tim, and thanks for watching.